today we are supposed to discuss a topic of ratio proportion indices and log students as you are aware the highest weightage of mathematics part goes to time value of money where we can expect 10 to 16 questions in the same manner we can also expect 5 to 7 questions from this chapter of ratio proportion indices and log first let us discuss the points of ratio proportion ratio proportion for a given ratio a upon b a is called antecedent b is called consequent numerator is called antecedent denominator is called consequent then there are some terminologies duplicate ratio duplicate ratio means a square upon b square square a upon b triplicate ratio means a cube upon b cube sub duplicate ratio means root of a upon root of b sub triplicate ratio means cube root of a upon cube root of b inverse ratio means b upon a then if it is given to us that a upon x is equal to b upon y is equal to c upon z then generally we assume this as k but k could be any given constant so what we can do over here is we can replace a by x b by y c by z you can replace every numerator by denominator then friends we have a concept of compounded ratio compounded ratio whenever you come across this word compounded ratio you will find many questions based on compounded ratio in our study material ICI module compounded ratio means product of given ratios you consider the given ratios you multiply them you get the compounded ratio then you have joint ratio I repeat the next point is joint ratio in joint ratio you, remember, you have to remember one thing common alphabet must have same number if a is to b is 2 is to 3 b is to c is 6 is to 5 then the common alphabet is b to convert it into the same number we have to multiply the first two parts by 2 so my result becomes 4 is to 6 is to 5 sometimes common alphabet does not have same number 2 is to 3 or 4 is to 5 if I compare it to our previous example it was possible for me to convert 3 into 6 but here it is not possible for me to convert 3 into 4 so I cross multiply I take the other value of B that is 4 multiply by the first two terms I take the first value of B that is 3 multiply by the next two terms so I get 8 is to 12 is to 15 so in joint ratio remember common alphabet must have same number then if A B C D are in proportion then we all know since school days A upon B is equal to C upon D here D is called fourth proportional if A B C 
are in continued proportion then a upon b is equal to b upon c that is b square is equal to ac here b is called mean proportional c is called third proportional so when i am solving a question where i am asked to find mean proportional i will take the middle most number as x if i am finding the third proportional i'll take the third number as x then if a upon b is equal to c upon d some definitions invertendo invertendo means b upon a is equal to d upon c interchange the numerator and denominator alternando when i say alternando i interchange this denominator with that numerator a upon c is equal to b upon d students you have already studied componendo and dividendo since school days componendo means a plus b upon a minus b is equal to c plus d upon c minus d this is a property of componendo and dividendo addendo addendo means a plus c upon b plus d a upon b is equal to c upon d is equal to a plus c upon b plus d subtrahendo subtrahendo the word subtract itself suggest subtract a minus c upon b minus d children in ratio proportion you could have many questions which could be solved by trial and error remember if a question is speaking about two numbers options also have two numbers question is speaking about three things options also have three things ages angles of a triangle salary income ratio expense ratio all such questions will be solved by trial and error so children with this we finish the first part of the chapter that is ratio proportion now we'll go ahead with indices students in indices there is nothing new as such basic rule of indices we have to keep in mind a raised to m into a raised to n is equal to a raised to m plus n a raised to m upon a raised to n is equal to a raised to m minus n a raised to m the whole raised to n is equal to a raised to m n a raised to minus m is equal to 1 upon a raised to m any finite number raised to 0 is equal to 1 now in indices if you see past papers there are questions which have been asked where three conditions are equal to each other say 2 raised to 1 upon x is equal to 3 raised to 1 upon y is equal to 6 raised to 1 upon z and conditions are given in the options we solve such questions by assuming as k remember if i take fraction on the opposite side it becomes an integer if i take integer on the opposite side it becomes a fraction so 2 raised to 1 upon x becomes k raised to x 3 becomes k raised to y 6 becomes k raised to z now no other information will be given we have to correlate the numbers 2 into 3 is equal to 6 so k raised to x into k raised to y is equal to k raised to z so x plus y is equal to z so the condition which we have x plus y minus z is equal to 0 like this an integer could be given then k will become 2 will become k raised to 1 upon x 3 will become k raised to 1 upon y 6 will become k raised to 1 upon z the same question would be given in terms of variables a raised to p is equal to b raised to q is equal to c raised to r we take it as k a becomes k raised to 1 upon p b becomes k raised to 1 upon q c becomes k raised to 1 upon r 
But students in this, they will have to give some condition. Let us say they give b square is equal to ac. So k raised to 1 upon q, the whole square, is equal to k raised to 1 upon p into k raised to 1 upon r, which becomes 2 by q is equal to 1 upon p plus 1 upon r. Now, different conditions may be given. They may give everything on one side or they may just interpret after taking LCM. These are the kinds of questions which you, are, you will come across in the module which you should focus on while simplifying. These are the points to be kept in indices. Now, we go to logarithm. Students in log, the most important thing is to remember the properties of log. Log A plus log B is equal to log of AB. Plus becomes multiplication. Multiplication is derived from plus. Property is applicable either ways. Log A minus log B is equal to log of a upon b. Log of a raised to b is equal to b log a. Log of a to the base b is equal to 1 upon log of b to the base a, which can be written as log a upon log b. Log of a to the base b is equal to 1 upon log b to the base a. If you shift the denominator to the numerator, the terms are interchanged. Log of any number to the same base, a positive number to the same base is 1. Standard value of log 10 is 1. Standard value of log 1 is 0. Then, if log of a to the base b is equal to m, then a is equal to b raised to m. An important property where you convert log into exponential. Then a raised to log of b to the base a. If the original base and base of logarithm are same, then its interpretation is the function which is written after log. The resultant value is b. And finally, half into log a plus log b is equal to log of root a b. If you are a non-math student, you may find logarithm a little bit difficult, but see to it students that you solve all questions from ICI module of log and indices because it will help you to reach beyond 25 out of 40.